Okay, this is the cyclone separator. Uh, close up, here's the shop vac. It's uh, stainless steel and static free, so the dust doesn't stick to it. At the moment, it's completely empty. And I don't have a bag in it or, or a filter. Uh, this is two and a half inch hose. Here's a hose clamp. Toolless hose clamp goes down. These all swivel. This swivels into here. This swivels into here. This fitting adjusts this reduction hose. Seal. These are hose clamps. Toolless. It goes into the dust cyclone separator. I mounted the cyclone separator to a lid. Under this lid is uh, some reinforcing wood. This is a plate, a circular plate that goes through and makes this upper lid very stiff. This is snap shut. This is also more of the reduction with hose clamps and uh, for example if I want to take this out the whole cart is on wheels. If I want to take this out just turn this and then this comes out and I could put a different hose in. I have a larger hose that fits this exact fitting, tighten it up and now it's in there. Okay so this it's on the cart. Now for the demo this is what is going to happen. I'm going to pour all the sawdust that's in this bucket. I'm going to pour it out on the floor. I'm going to examine the inside of the shop back. It'll show you that it's empty. And I will suck up all the sawdust and demonstrate that all the dust will end up back in the bucket and none of it in the shop back, which is the whole purpose of the cyclone separator. Okay, that's what I'm going to try to do. So let me empty the bucket and pour it on the floor. Hold on. So we're looking inside the shop back and you can see it's empty. No sawdust in the shop back. And I emptied the bucket out. And I poured all the contents of the bucket onto the floor. Now I'm going to close up the shop back. Attach the lid so that it's on. And now I'm going to fire up the shop back and suck up this dust. Maybe try to get a picture of the cyclone action and separation process, degree of separation. So let's let's do that. Turn it on. Shop back is on. And start sucking up the dust. You can see the cyclone sucking up all this dust. Making a real storm inside, a real dust storm. And with this amount of dust all in one shot, you would think that it would overwhelm the system. And in doing so, uh, you know, and and some of it would wouldn't be perfectly efficient. So I'm sucking up all this dust. There's the cyclone. So. Okay, I got most of the dust sucked up. Fair amount, fair amount sucked up. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's shut it off. And take a look inside the shop vac. Remember, there's no bag or filter inside the shop vac. So I'm just going to unplug this. Take a look. Inside the shop back, completely empty. That means none of the dust, none of the dust went here. Only air. The vacuum provides a suction, it sucks air. This device separates the dust from the air. So this is pure air going in here because none of the dust ended up here. All of the dust ended up in the bucket. And you could see on the floor, I didn't get it all, but you know, I could suck that up. And this is what's amazing about this thing is you can have a completely bag-free, filter-free shop vac, and this puppy right here takes care of the rest. So let me just get the rest of this. Uh, sucking up all kinds of dust washers, everything. Just sucking up everything off the floor. So, got it all sucked up. Get some over here. And you can... So that's it. Turn it off.
And so if we'll come to the other side, take a look at it. So I got a three and a half gallon bucket and a very section lid. Spent a fair amount of work trying to get everything perfected, looking nice. And uh, the holes are perfectly aligned. In this uh, top hole, there's a hole. These are anchored in pretty good. This whole thing swivels, so there's no uh, tension on it. And it's easy to take apart because I can just, these are like tuning strings on a guitar. You just turn these things and you can loose stuff, loosen stuff up. So it makes, makes for a very usability. And it's all on a cart with, uh, with wheels. So, you know, you can, here, I'm going to make this into drawers. So I pull out and there'll be spare parts. But this, uh, this system will accommodate this size hose, which is more appropriate for sharp use. So this is a two and a half inch hose, which I can easily put in here, undo the yellow thing. Loosen it up, put that in, tighten it back down, and now I have a two and a half inch hose completely compatible with it. But right now for the demo, I just used a one and a quarter inch hose, which is good for running orbital sander and also the other belt sander drill press. This thing is for a table saw and router. And uh, the more ch bigger chips, it, uh, it handles the flow much better. But regardless, it's, it's a freaking miracle how this thing performs so well. Even though I tried to overwhelm it by sucking up a huge amount of dust all in one clunk, it still did it. It's still perfect. I mean, it just created a storm inside, so, and all the air went here. Pure air went into here, none, in, none into the shop back. Okay, thank you.